Today, we will discuss the concept of Faraday's law of induction. Faraday's law states that the EMF induced in a coil is proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux through the coil. Let's consider a situation. Have you ever seen the metal detectors at airports? Do you know how they work? They follow the same principle that is followed by transformers, generators and motors, which is Faraday's law of induction. Let's talk about Faraday's law in detail. Faraday's law of induction states that the EMF induced in a coil is proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux through the coil. Magnetic flux is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a closed surface area, and it is expressed as here B is the magnetic field through the closed surface of area A, and theta is the angle between the magnetic field and the normal to the plane of the loop. Consider a coil of wire of N identical turns, each with magnetic flux of the induced EMF in the coil is given as in the formula is the induced EMF and is the change in the magnetic flux in time. Thus, the EMF will be induced only when there is a change in the magnetic flux. If the magnetic flux is constant, then there will be no induced EMF. Due to this induced EMF, a current will be induced in the coil of the wire. The direction of the induced current is determined by Lenz's law. According to Lenz's law, the direction of the induced current in a circuit is such that it opposes the change in the magnetic flux. Let's talk about some potential common mistakes. Do not think that there will be an induced EMF only when the magnetic field is changing. The magnetic flux through a loop depends on three parameters. The magnetic field through the loop, the area of the loop, and the angle between the magnetic field and the normal to the plane of the loop. If any of the three parameters is changing, there will be a change in the magnetic flux, and so the EMF will be induced in the loop. Let's take a real-world example. Consider a 200 turns coil of radius 5 centimeters that is placed in a changing magnetic field such that the magnetic field is perpendicular to the coil. Calculate the EMF induced in the coil if the magnetic field is decreasing by 5T in 4S. The EMF induced in a coil is... Substitute the flux expression. Here the magnetic field is changing with time. Therefore... The magnetic field is perpendicular to the loop, which means that the angle between the magnetic field and the normal to the plane of the loop is 0 degrees. Substitute the given values and calculate the EMF. Summing up, we learned about Faraday's law, which states that the induced EMF in a coil is directly proportional to the change in the magnetic flux through the coil and the direction of the current induced in the coil is in such a way that it opposes the change in the magnetic flux.